Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Dress the Quill. I don't have a face cam today, but I'll do my best. Uh, so today, you know, like any other Magic the Gathering set release, I got some products for us today to open up on the channel, courtesy of Up North Games at Huntsville, Ontario. Go see Ryan if you're looking to pick up Magic Singles or get in booster boxes. He's a good guy. Uh, so I'm going to split this up into two videos. We're going to do the collector box today and then we're going to do the draft box probably tomorrow. That's just how it is. I, I don't want to overload you guys with Modern Horizons 2 right off the bat. So I'm pretty excited to open this up. It has been such a long time since we've seen fetch lands in a standard product. Well, in a, in a regular product, right? So like we had them in uh, Zendikar Rising collector boxes and in the... Uh, buy a box sort of promo slot that they had but we haven't gotten them in like regular draft booster backs in a long long time no tool today just ripping this bad boy open oh this is tight i think they've gotten better with their packaging yeah i'm really excited for this set like I really want a Cabal Coffers, I really want the Fetch Lands, I really want uh, the new Squirrel Dude. I just made a Squirrel Tribal deck not too long ago. I'm not really too excited for Chatterfang because my Squirrel deck was Mono Green, and he's Green Black, so he would have to be the General, or I have to get some other Green Black General to be the Commander. But Tusky's the General. So if he's, you know, if, if he's going in the deck, I, I, gotta, I gotta change some stuff up. Alright. Collector boosters. I haven't done this since Strixhaven. And the Strixhaven collector box is amazing. Okay, I think I'm going to zoom in just a bit. I'm not going to do it overly because I still want you guys to be able to see, you know, what I have in the background. I think I'll zoom in. I'll just raise my hand a little bit. I think there's four commons. Yes. So let's see here. I'll put them there. Put down commons in there too. Archfiend, Archbound, Shikari. Oh, and this is epic. These etched foil basic lands. This is the first time we've seen basic lands in etched foil. I think I think eventually we are going to get like full art basic lands in etched. And I think they're, those are going to be like super sought after. Karth the Lion for our first extended art rare. So I really like these Modern Horizons 2 collector booster packs. I've already seen a lot of openings on YouTube for them. These things are just loaded. So I'm wondering what we're going to get in these. So Karth, and here's one of those new sketch cards. The Floodhound, this is just a regular version. I think these are pretty pretty nice looking. I'm not a huge fan of them. I think the uh, the, the retro frames and like the uh, the borderless variants of some cards are just better than these. But, it, but it's cool to see wizards kind of like going outside of their comfort zone again and trying something new. We got Obsidian Charma as our sketch rare non-foil okay we got magmatic sinkhole it's a modern horizons one card and the retro frame and this is just a regular foil i don't yeah i think it's just a regular foil it's not a mesh foil so i think we'll do sketch cards all in their own pile extended arts those we'll put mythics up there and like fetch lands and stuff this i guess we'll put here Ooh, a timeless witness Sketch? I think this might be... No, no, this is a regular foil. That is pretty cool, though. I'm a big fan of Eternal Witness. Ooh. And we got Defile. Uh, sketch foil. Ooh, and this is, this is definitely an etched. So that's an etched foil Modern Horizons retro frame card. <laughs> so many different variants on cards in this set. It's amazing. Ooh! -hoo -hoo! Yeah, there we go, baby. So that's a Yavimaya Cradle Growth, the new Urborg for green. And that is an etched foil retro frame. This is probably up there in price. Just to let you guys know. I'm going to put this up here where I'll put, like, fetch lanes and stuff because that's worth it. And we have a Sylvan Anthem. I don't think that's etched. I think that's just a regular foil. But it's uh, a rare sketch foil. And then we have our double-sided foil token. Okay, wow. Okay. Uh, no, no, we'll, we'll put that guy, yeah, we'll put him here. We'll put him here in the sketch slot, I guess. Pull this guy down a little bit so you can see it better. That is awesome. 
I am very happy to get that. If I can get a Cabal Coffers now, this will be like the perfect box. Cabal Coffers is a card I knew that they were going to reprint soon. I kind of called it with this. I, I don't have any official way to say that I, that I was the guy who called it. If they were going to, you know, reprint it, but I did call it. Okay, we got our commons and our uncommons. We got our foil etched basic land. Also, these basic lands, they used, uh, they used art from old basic lands. So I'm really hoping to get the Mirage Island. Because that thing is beautiful. We got a Rashadden Dockhand. Okay, Rashadden Port on a Merfolk. They really missed some design space because they could have made this guy a pirate, in my opinion. And then, you know, that would have been two relevant creature types. Instead of just making him a Merfolk. We have Late to Dinner, which I think is a pretty cool card. You know, you got the uh, got the elephant, the little ghost elephant, and the rhino. The ghost elephant, you know, had to make it to dinner. <laughs> hey, we have Sign of Draco, the uh, the borderless and mythic variant. I think that this guy is actually really good. You know, in the in the right deck, he will do a lot of work. If you have a way to make all your creatures like you know five color or something, like even just having this in like a mono blue deck. And giving all your dudes hexproof it's amazing okay we got land of war tribe Ooh, this is cool the foil retro frame of this guy it's cool to get like cards that are actually kind of playable in this slot okay we have ornithopter of paradise retro frame foil i was kind of surprised to see a card like this but honestly i don't think it's that powerful but, but it, it, it's a nice addition right Galvanic Relay, an etched foil retro frame card from Modern Horizons 1. Hey, Cursed Totem. And this is a etched foil Cursed Totem too. It sucks that this card isn't really worth much anymore because of this reprint. Really, this should have been one of the cards, I think, uh, not really included in this set because it doesn't really see much play. But it is a cool include to see that this card is getting a reprint, I guess. <laughs> okay, okay, first, first fetch land already. We have a Verdant Catacombs. Oh, foil retro frame Verdant Catacombs. Oh, God, second pack. I I've seen boxes, seen collector boxes of just, like, seven fetch lands I've seen. I think that's, I think that's the most I've seen so far, but I think the average is supposed to be something like, one in every four packs, which is still crazy for fetch lands. And like, this I think is like 150 bucks. Like, I, I don't know right off the top of my head. And this is like the release. So like, all the prices right now are really inflated. So don't buy right now, wait like 30 to 60 days and all the prices will be lower. But that is a hit. That is, oh, brainstorm. Oh, and we have a foil etched forest now. Maybe. It looks a little weird up here. Like, it's kind of like, maybe like off center or something. Like right there at the top, it just, it doesn't look right. Maybe a little too much foil etch, maybe. And like, there's a little bit of a curling right there. We have unmarked grave for our first extended art of the pack. Blossom income for a sketch card. Ooh, Esper Sentinel etched. Ooh, that is a... That is a decent card right now. You know what? At, at the beginning, I didn't think that this was that great of a card. But the fact that you can get it down on turn 1, or Rhystic Study is you get it down on turn 3, this is like... This is like Mystic Remora 2 in white. So I, I really do like this card. Uh, we have Arrow Maba. Put that there. Uh, retro Frame Foil. Monoskeleton. It's really hard to keep track of, like, piles. <laughs> we have Blazing Root Walla. Madness Zero. Profane Tutor in the Retro Frame Etched Foil. That's decent. Hey, Gay as Will, Extended Art Foil. Nice. So this card here, if you don't know, you know, the legends of the reserve list, is, is pretty much a callback to uh, Yagmas Will. But this is gay as well, and it's in green. This set kind of reminds me of like Time Spiral, where they kind of like 
or no, time... Which one was it? Future Sight? Where they pretty much just, like, took mechanics from other colors and put them into different colors. That's what Gaia's Will kind of reminds me of, because the effect on Gaia's Will is just Yawgmoth's Will, but better, and it's on a green card. Uh, extended Art Foil. You know, we'll put that up here. Why not? It's a really good card, and I think it'll do well over time. It just really sucks that they keep giving green, you know, all the good, all the good cards, you know? And yet white is stuck getting like one S percent in every two years or something. Like what was the last good white card to enter Commander? It was like, uh, that four man enchantment from like Guilds of Ravnica. <laughs> and we still haven't seen anything like that since. We have another mountain, etched foil. You have Usri Fortune's Flame. This is the coin flip dude. It's cool to see Efreets in uh, in modern day products because we haven't seen them really since like uh, since like the, all the old core sets. You know, like uh, the fourth edition, fifth edition, sixth edition. I think there were some in sixth edition. I could be wrong. But sixth edition had a bunch of reprints from like Mirage and stuff, so I'm assuming that it does. But yeah, we we, we don't see Efreet or Jin on stuff quite as frequently anymore. Phantasmal Dreadmaw. Ooh, a Sithis. You know, I actually do have a... I do have a Bant, uh... Tuvasa enchantment deck, so... This will probably go in there. It does suck that it is when you cast the enchantment, you gain one life and draw a card, but... If it was ETB, it would be too good. Let's, let's be real here, it would be too good. Uh, let's put that here, I guess. We have Ravenous Squirrel. Another Squirrel for my Squirrel deck. We have Ingenious Infiltrator. Retro Frame, Modern Horizons 1 card. We got Bone Shards, Etched Foil. Hey, Soul Talisman. Retro Frame, Etched Foil. This card I don't think is really going to do much. Uh, in in history, cards with like no mana cost that are like Suspend usually get played in decks with like uh, a 3 man Shaman from Almond Cats. And they usually get played with like uh, Cascade. So this, this card will only be good if it gets played with decks that can take advantage of those outlets. In a regular commander deck, you know, you play this, you, you get, you can, the, the soonest you can get this is on turn four. So you go from four mana to six mana. I don't think it's going to be that great. Oh, oh my God. This box is just giving me everything I want. Okay. Marsh Flats, Retro Frame Foil. God, that is awesome. You know, now we have two. God, I wonder if we can get the full set Retro Frame Foil in one collector box. That would be... Oh, man, that, that, that would be, like, legend-worthy. Because I think the, the odds of that happening are just so slim. But if I can get one of each, bruh, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be set. Ooh, Foil Etch Swamp. Now, again, I think there's, like, a little bit of a smear up here, but that might be just from the art. I don't know. I don't know. You guys, you guys tell me. What does that look like to you? <laughs> oh, extended heart, scalding turn. <laughs> oh man, you do not know how happy I am right now. God, I, I remember I got all my fetch lands before I got all my dual lands. So it was like, I got like one fetch land every like month or something. And it was like a slow grind to get all my fetch lands. And like, just to be able to get these again, you know, like this, it just feels so much better. Titania, Protector of Argoth, for our mythic borderless. This is a great commander, and it's a great addition to modern, in my opinion. It's, it's always going to be in like, janky, like three color, Gitrog sort of style, tier two modern decks. But it's, it, it's a great card. And I think it definitely deserves a spot in modern day magic. Uh, Terminal Agony. Ooh, Greed! I am very happy getting a Foil Edge Greed. I, uh, I always thought that this card was amazing. But I... Also, when I was a kid, though, I thought that this was, like, the most broken card and it would be worth so much money. So I never got it. Ooh, and a Foil Etched Vindicate. <laughs> oh my god! Wizards! Are, are you really gonna give me the nut box here? 
uh, extended art foil marsh flats. So that's our second marsh flats. We're still missing two fetch lands from the cycle, but we're not even halfway through the box. This is amazing. We got a foil, we got an etched foil vindicate. You know, we got our greed, we got our soul talisman. God, this is an amazing, amazing box. So a little while ago, I bought the FNM promo with Soren Vindicate for like 10 bucks. That was like 40. And you know, I thought to myself, you know what, that, that, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Okay. Oh, I put this in the wrong spot. Okay. We have our foil etched island. I want the other island with the tree and the, the mountain in the background. The Baz, the Glimmer Wasp, eh. It's okay. I think it's cool to see like an artifact creature that can be like I'm on a red deck or I'm on a white deck or red and white or like red with a splash of white in commander. I think it's cool that they're exploring that space a bit, but Zabaz is kind of meh. Arcbound Shikari. We have Persist. Return target non legendary creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield of the Mouse Mouse and Counter. Oh, this is better than I thought it was. Okay. When I heard Persist, I thought it was just going to be an instant card that just gave a creature Persist. But no, I think this is better. Because this kind of interacts with those Persist creatures, you know? When they've died the second time, you can return them. And it works with any creature that's not legendary. We have Nested Shambler. We have Abundant Harvest. Arrow Amoeba. And this is... I think this is etched. Yeah, this is etched. Goblin Bombardment. Upshifted to rare. This I am not a big fan of. I love Goblin Bombardment, don't get me wrong, this is a great card. But the fact that they upshifted it to rare, you're not getting your money's worth. This is an uncommon. Or a common. Not a rare. Goblin Engineer, okay. Modern Horizons 1 uh, reprint card here. Giving it the nice retro frame foil treatment. Sacrifice an artifact, return to our artifact card with a mana value 3 or less from a graveyard to the battlefield. It's kind of like a fixed uh, goblin... <laughs> goblin Artificer, I think it's called, from Urza's. That Urza set. It's kind of like a fixed variant of it with like a, a search mechanic. So I think it's I think it's a good card. It's not really that much of a hit because I don't think it really sees much play. But it's cool to see. And I guess it's like the Goblin Artificer from Modern, right? It's a modern legal. So if model red like artifact ever becomes a thing, we'll probably see play. Late to dinner. Another foil etched island that I do not want. Dothy Voidwalker, okay, extended art. This is definitely a card I think is going to see tons of modern play in the next five to six years. In my opinion, this is just an amazing two mana, three two shadow creature for modern. You know, it's it's unblockable. Your opponent needs to have another creature with shadow. And, you know, you can play your play their spells for free. Sure, it taps to attack, but like, still though, having a nice body that you can reliably attack with and get a spell off of, that's pretty decent. Ooh, Borderless Grief. Now, a lot of people are uh, speculating that this card is overpowered. And honestly, I do agree with them. It's just too good. It's a force of thought sees pretty much on a 3-2 menace creature it's just too good it does too much in my opinion Rakdos headliner we got faithless salvaging mind collapse giver of runes okay great modern card sees a lot of play um the fact that you can give creatures you know protection from colorless is always a good upside of this card and a foil plague engineer Ooh. Two Modern Horizons 1 cards. Retro frame. And foil. Cool. I'm actually going to put these up here. Because they both see a lot of play. Plague Engineer sees a lot of play in Legacy. Because Legacy cares about small creatures. And the fact that you can play Plague Engineer on turn 3 and probably take out, you know, every creature in someone's deck. It's pretty strong. Please focus. We have a nice... Foil etched planes. A regular extended art soul talisman. Faithless salvaging. Hey, and here's a socket. Another card stirring up the uh, the modern format. Honestly, I watched uh, MTG Muxman's video and he said that this was going to be a five dollar card. I completely agreed with him. This card should only be about five bucks because it's not that amazing. 
You know, it's a land that sacrifices itself after a while. So it's not going to sit on the battlefield. And you really got to get the most value you can out of all three modes. So as soon as you play this, you got to use it. But I am going to put it up there. Because it is, you know, something right now. Bone Shards, again. How many times am I going to get Bone Shards? Arcus Ac uh, Aculite, uh, Soul Snare. <laughs> Misty Rainforest. Etched Retro Frame Misty. <laughs> what am I missing? Uh, I got the black green. I'm missing Arid Mesa. Of all cards to be missing. And a Dermo Taxi. Sketch uh, foil. But still though. This is this is getting ridiculous, okay? Five fetch lanes already. And I still have four packs to go. I have a Yavimaya Cradle of Growth. I got... I'm surprised only three Mythics. That, that's kind of surprising. Still though, this is, this is amazing. This is an amazing box. Like, there's so much appeal for, like, commander players in here, and this is, like, a modern set. Okay. This is supposed to be a set made for modern players. And I'm even happy. Okay, we got Etched Foil Swamp. <laughs> Extended Earth Marsh Flats. God. How many Marsh Flats do I need? <laughs> Dermotaxi again? Okay. <laughs> Vile and Tumor. Nested Shambler. Marble Gargoyle. Chainer Nightmare Adept. Foil Etched Rare. Standard or Retro Frame. Hey, Sanctifier and Vec. This is seeing a little bit of modern play too now. A couple cool cards. And a squirrel token. God, though. If I get an Arid Mesa, then I have one of each fetch land on the set. I'm just surprised I have so many retro frame foils. That is amazing. The fact that I have that many. Like, I like I was expecting to get, like, maybe one. Or if I was lucky, two. But I got three. And, like, I still have three more chances to get a fourth. Forest. Uh, etched foil. Sanctum Weaver. This is definitely going to my enchantment deck. Uh, oh, I put the forest in the wrong spot. Great. Abundant Weaver. Dress down. Blazing Root Walla. Lens Flare. Ooh, Flame Rift. Etched Foil. Out of Time. Okay. I honestly have no clue what Out of Time is going to do. Uh, kind of an underwhelming card, but, uh, it's it's like a it's like a board wipe, right? It's a board wipe that goes away after four rounds, and then you get everything back. Hey, a uh, foil retro frame titanium. That's not bad. It's not amazing, but it's not bad, you know. I don't mind getting mythics, even if they are like ten dollar mythics, maybe. You know what? This this version might be like twenty bucks, because people who really really want. Titanius for the commander deck, they're gonna go out and they're gonna buy either this version or the borderless foil or the etched foil. I guess it really depends on what you prefer. Oh yes, this is the one. I, I love this art. This is my favorite island art. Probably of all time. It doesn't really get much better than that. Because it is. It, it's an island. But it's from the perspective of someone standing on shore with a tree in front of them. And there we go, folks! <laughs> We finally got it. We have one of each enemy fetch land in this box. And this is fetch land number seven. <laughs> like, <laughs> how much better does this guess? And we got a shardless agent. Okay, borderless. You know, that, that can go over here. <laughs> in the playable category. Abundant harvest. Mine collapse. Blacksmith skill. Oh my god, we got a foil etched Chatterfang Mythic. This is a home run box. Master of Death, okay, nobody cares about that. There's a battlefield surreal too, they give you repeat. If anyone life is you return here. Okay, this, it's not that terrible, but it's not that great. Anyways, this is this is a home run box if I've ever seen one. Like we have one pack to go and like I'm already like happy. <laughs> I'm already okay with this. If 
If this is a dud pack, I would be completely fine with it. But no, no, I have a chance of getting more cool stuff. <laughs> okay, uh, and commons, commons. We have a etched foil planes. Territorial Kavu. I think this is going to be like the next, uh, Tarmogoyf, in my opinion. Because it's a two mana with domain, power and toughness equal to the amount of, uh, basic land types among lands you control. So it can be a two mana 5-5. Five five. Which is very easy to do. It's possible to get on turn two a 5-5. Five five, and then it also has an attack trigger. So this is a Tarmogoyf that can't get as big, but it has an upside of an attack trigger. To draw your cards or exile cards from your opponent's graveyard or all that fun stuff. Archon of Crutel of Cruelty. Uh sketch, mythic. There's a Belfort attacks, target opponent sacrifices a creature, planeswalker. Discards a card and loses three life, you draw a card and gain three life. This kind of reminds me of uh the seven mana What are those called? Ultimatum, the, the Grixis one. Where it's like the opponent takes five damage and sacrifices the creature and uh, discards some cards or whatever. We have a Goblin NR Kaomancer. We have a Kitchen Imp. Talisman of Curiosity. This is the first talisman we've seen. And honestly, I really like the talisman in this retro frame foil etched. Rashawn Dockhand. In a retro frame foil etched. And for our last card, Prismatic Vista. This is a home run box if I've ever seen one. God, that is pretty much a fetch land. <laughs> I have, I, I missed my opportunity with Modern Horizons 1 to get a Prismatic Vista. So this is just made up for it completely. And this is like a better version of Prismatic Vista. Well guys, this has been an amazing box opening. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe or leave me a comment. Tell me how you guys feel about <laughs> the pull rate in these boxes because it is just godly. But uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys then. Bye for now.